The Chemu Lagoon, once a source of livelihood for Choco Chemuena resident in the Ablekuma West Municipality of the Greater Accra region, has lost its aquatic life. Joseph Armstrong reports indiscriminate dumping of human excreta and plastic waste into the lagoon has polluted the water body. The Chemu Lagoon was once a sight to behold, but this is no more. A closer look at it shows pollution. Any visitor to Choco would admit that the pungent smell from the lagoon affects the safety of residents. Plastics and human waste have taken over the lagoon. Aquatic life is no more. And all this is due to human activities. Health authorities say this poses environmental and health risk to the community. Residents, however, continue to dump refuse despite the destruction caused to the lagoon. We are urging all residents here to be vigilant and to prevent others from dumping garbage into the lagoon again, which would bring the problem that we're solving today back. Despite the health risk, trading is actively done on the banks of the lagoon. This is not the only danger. School children who walk the stretch and play around risk contaminating themselves with diseases. This is how close they get to the contaminated lagoon in attempt at reaching home due to the lack of a bridge on the lagoon. The threat posed by the lagoon has attracted attention of the MP for Ablukma West. With support from the Environment, Science and Innovation Ministry, a floating bridge has been constructed on the lagoon. Old Winneba Road, this is it. Accra to Winneba, that's where we're standing. But because of the Malam Road and this bridge, it's falling into disuse. We can rebuild it, an access road to enable us evacuate the dredged material and then provision of facilities to enable the refuse to be dumped and collected so that it protects the environment from um, garbage being thrown into the Chemu Lagoon. If we do this well, we can even have fish in the lagoon in the not too distant future. We came here to support her to construct the this floating bridge and also to dredge, dredge the um, lagoon. Yes, my wish is that one day we'll grass this place, have benches here, and then you and I will come with our grandchildren with fishing rods, fishing in the Chemu, and then grilling on the banks. The Blockman West Municipal Chief Executive, Dr. Cyril Bray, cautioned residents against dumping refuse in the lagoon. My task force will be patrolling the area as and when. If anybody is caught taking money from the people, he will be handed over to the police. Joseph Armstrong, TV3, Accra.